Hey everybody, Lee here, and I'm not quite ready for my Project 52 video yet, but I had to take on this challenge because it's near and dear to my heart. Amy and Vincenzo did this Wanderlust video for traveling and about loving to travel, and traveling is something that's super, super important to me. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I'm going to New Zealand this New Year's Eve and I love to travel and I think it's cool and I have a lot to say about traveling. So there, there are questions and if you want to answer the questions, I'm going to put all the questions in the description. So if you want to join in and do a video on Wanderlust, make your own video. Background. I am of Czech heritage and descent, like fifth generation Czech. My family, I'm not even go great, great, whatever, great, 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 whatever, fifth generation, are from the Czech Republic. Well, it was the Czech, there's so many, I'm not even going to, you know me and history don't get along very well. Back from the Moravian part of the Czech Republic, which is, if you look at the Czech Republic, East, Czech Republic, 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 Czech and we all did study abroad in the Czech Republic. I actually did it after I graduated as a graduation gift to myself. I got back, got a job, and then nine months later I quit my job and I moved back to the Czech Republic without a job. And I found a job, not teaching English. For the next four and a half-ish years of my life, I lived in the Czech Republic in Prague, working and living and living and living. And then growing up, I traveled so much. Saw so many countries, so many cities, met so many people. It was the best experience of my life and I wouldn't change it for the world. It was the most amazing life experience I could have ever have hoped for. And I forget that sometimes. Going through the questions. Number one, I don't know if I have a tre most treasured passport stamp. The cool part about this is that I had to go to the U.S. Embassy in Prague and have them so in more pages there that's one of my green cards like I have green cards that was the hardest process to go through because I wasn't brought over by a, by a company the company I worked for had to prove why they were going to hire an American over a Czech native or an EU citizen I think the coolest part was the first time through. So my friend Tammy and I were in Hungary for a holiday in Budapest, and on the way back, and it was late at night, we drove, we trained through uh, Bratislava, stopped there, I got off there, she kept going to Prague because she had to work the next day, I got off in Bratislava, um, I thought, oh, I'll just stay in the train station all night. Hmm, no idea. Oh, train station closed at like 1 a.m., so I have no place to go because it's not a weekend, so there's no, I'm like, no bars, I have no clue where to go, and next day's Monday, nothing's open on a Monday except for businesses, so uh, I'm sitting outside the train station, and luckily there's another American there, and he's sitting with me, and so we're talking, chit-chatting about, you know, where, how we're getting, how, how we got to Prague, uh, why we're in Bratislava, and then all of a sudden this drama breaks out at the Slovak, at this Bratislava train station, and there's this, uh, with homeless people and gypsies and stuff, and uh, I shouldn't, with, uh, I shouldn't say gypsies, with homeless people, and there's this woman, and guy one, and guy two, and guy one is upset because it seemed like he was with the woman, but then she was like trying to flirt with guy two, and so he was getting upset. But then they, she really didn't want to pay any attention to guy one. But you know, like they had a thing before, and like we had this whole story going on with all of them. And then finally, guy one was getting really upset because woman and guy two were going on. There were all these other people, and they were like blah blah blah. blah. But then guy two and guy and woman were like, blah, blah, blah. we're like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. and guy one's like, blah, blah, blah. and he's making a fuss. And so then the police come, and we're like, wow, they're gonna take guy one behind the fence, and then we're gonna hear yelling, and then we're, we're the police are gonna come back out, and we're not gonna see guy one anymore. And that's what we said to each other. We're just joking around, right? Well, check this out. They take guy one behind the fence, and guy one starts screaming like really loud, and then the police come out. Guy one never shows up again. Not anymore. I love planes. I love airports. I love flying. I love trains. I like I like public transportation. Trams. I just I like public transportation because I like people watching. And I like meeting people and I think that's the best part of why I like that over automobiles. 
Now, I'm not going to include my phone because that doesn't count. Top three travel items would include my camera, any kind of sunglasses. I have blue eyes. I got to have sunglasses anywhere I go. And then my third item, and I think my mother would agree with this, whether she would like to or not, would have to be a corkscrew. And this, and not just for wine, but it has like a little, it's like a Swiss Army knife. A Swiss Army knife. We'll just say that. Make that a little more useful, generic. How can you, it's like the perfect utensil to basically do anything you need to do when you're traveling. When I was younger, definitely a hostel. The cheaper, the better. And nowadays, I think if I travel with people, I'm gonna stick to hotels, especially as I get older, and probably also as I travel alone, mainly be for safety reasons. Definitely I explore new places, but I'm also a repeat visitor. Prague is always in my heart. I will always go back and visit Prague and there are always places I will go and see and visit because those are my places. But there's so many places I still need to see. I'm the type that will look down every small street and go, let's go check it out. What's down that? What's down that alleyway? Depends again. I do a little bit of both. I tend to wing a lot more when I travel alone and I tend to plan a lot more when I travel with other people. I don't have one. I tend to research all over the place because I don't tend to trust one central source. It's it's just that research to say what is my best option, what's going to be my fun, most fun option, what's going to be the coolest excursion, the most unique way. Can I do it without going through a company? Can I do it, you know, it's just being able to research and find out the best option to fit me. Easy prog. I tell everybody they need to visit Prague because of the architecture, because of how beautiful it is, and the food, the people, how nice the people are. So yeah, Prague. It's a great city. Honestly, back to Europe. I love European languages. I love the public transportation in Europe. I like traveling around Europe. I felt comfortable there. I don't know why. I just like Europe. I love the Czech Republic, so probably there. Or at least that's where I would start. And I know it's not as grandiose as some other places, but that's my wanderlust. Wanderlust travel answering 10 questions. A little bit more about me, a couple of stories thrown in there, and I can't wait for my next excursion and adventure. All right, so one more story about my adventures in Prague because I have to post photos with this video because that's what I do. My parents were not very excited when they realized or kind of found out that I had bought a one-way ticket to Prague. As I was living there, one of the threats you might say I made to them was that I wasn't even going to think about moving back to America until they at least came and visited me in the Czech Republic and that we could go see where our families were from, where our roots came from. The coolest part was my mom and my dad and I were in my dad's village in Dolny Hershmanice and there we're at this we're at the church. It was on top of a hill. We're in our small rental car and all. the church is so simple from the outside. Dolny Hershmanice is like nothing. It's like more cows than houses. Just this church is on this hill. We go through the cemetery. We see the names on the headstones. And that was pretty amazing in itself. It's starting to rain again some more. And my mom and I are like, well, let's go back out to the car and wait for dad. He's taking forever. We're like, well, where is he? And mom's like, go find him. As I go start to look for him, he's coming towards us. He's like, let's go. And I'm going, okay. And I get mom. As he was there looking at the headstones and walking around, he ran into, or there was a woman who was coming up to the church on her bike, who's from the village. She doesn't speak any English. Well, with his check, he started talking to her and she was coming up to the church to play in a wedding that afternoon. He spoke to her for a little bit and she said, well, do you want to come sit in the choir loft with me for the wedding? Okay, my dad said. We go up to the choir loft with this lady he has just met from the village who speaks no English. And when we walk into the church, the inside looks like this. It was so beautiful. Afterwards, we went to her house and met some of her friends. They showed us where the Darjlik house used to stand. Literally, our broken check and their non-existent English and had the best afternoon. Hope you enjoyed the photos. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about this girl right here, the wanderer, the nomad. Have a great day. I will see y'all in my next video.